Let me get that first. I have no excuse not to work out, bro. Look at Lauren. Look, no excuse. Same months. Beautiful. So today is pool day. All right. So we have some trivia questions for you today. So, first question. Which NBA big man just learned how to swim in this NBA season? What? <laughs> Which NBA big man learn how to swim? Learn how to swim. I'm giving you four I'm giving you four options. Can is it like A? It? Huh? Okay, go ahead. Is it A? Rudy Gobert? B Taco Fall? C Boban or D DeAndre Ayton? Chances Two chances. Uh, DeAndre, he from what? Jamaica, something like that. The Bahamas. Okay, so it can't be him, bro. If it's him, that's disrespectful. Uh, Boban, he European. I know he probably jumped off some forty-foot cliff somewhere. But that's crazy though. They all hella tall. So do they even really have to swim? <laughs> uh, I have no clue. I uh. First, I'm gonna go taco. Swim in this NBA season. Oh, taco fall. Oh, shoot. Taco fall. It, uh, it is Kanner and uh, Jalen Brown just taught him in the bubble. Okay. Oh, oh, that's, I'm on it, man. <laughs> that's okay. I'm on it. It's okay. competition. I'm with it. What else? How to swim this season? Is taco it, fall. <laughs> taco fall. That's the correct answer. That's it. Yep. How he not know how to swim? Maybe just because he ain't got to. I feel it. All right, cool. You eight feet, bro. <laughs> Yo, I have a question from Kyle Flanagan. The question is, how many days a week do you do strength and core workouts? Every day, five days a week. And why is that? Because there's always something that can be stronger. And there's always something, there's always work to be done. I'm not saying that we're working out the same body part every single day, but the body is a very uh, diverse and plentiful organism. So why not work on something every day? Here we go. Beautiful. Not so much by my people more than at an angle to the side. Correct. This one's from Mike Inc. What SNC exercise has Drew found the most transferable to his defense ability? You said SNC? Strength SC, strength and conditioning. Strength and conditioning. Yeah. Oh. So like, what strength and conditioning exercise transfers the most to you? Um, I think being able to like move with a lot of weight on you and training that way makes it easier for me on the court because then I could actually play against bigger guys. Mm. I could withstand them or if I bump somebody, I'm not gonna move, they gonna move. It's also court. Oh, she better pass the ball. She better pass the goddamn ball. That ain't oh, what you want. Oh, oh, oh. Man, that's crazy they hating from the sideline. That ain't what he wants. You, you ain't even got in. Sorry. But then it's hard. Yeah. Bro, I'm 220. <laughs> I put 10 pounds on me, 15 pound weight vest on me. I'm 230. I'm yeah, 230. That's, that's and I'm playing, actually like playing against people. And they not trash. Like I'm playing against like NBA players doing that. So being able to withstand moving that or even like going to the field and moving and doing lateral work. Like you put 10 extra pounds on you, bro, that crap, that crap is hard. But then to be able to like train with that and then take it off, it makes it so much easier in my opinion. Wait, say it again. What'd you say? What'd you say before I turn the camera? The in the game. He a big fan of Drake. I got the oh, anthem. Yeah, Drake fan. I got the anthem playing for you. <laughs> We're gonna go to the pool and get right. You feel me? As soon as the camera's on, he turns into a whole other person, don't he? All right, so what's you, good with it, Swishy? Yo, what's good? So can you tell us about the workout today? What is it gonna? It consisted of and what you did just previous. Yeah. So. I like to look at the, the, the workout schedule as a, as a weekly outlook, okay? So um, we don't know, that we're in a world of unknowns right now in terms of when people are going back to play. We have different 
demographics of athlete right now in terms of our group. We have a dude from China that's going back to China. We got a kid that just declared pro straight out of college, skipped his, his senior year to go pro because of the COVID. And then we have two NBA guys. So they don't, that no one knows what, what they're doing. So my goal behind the scheduling of the workouts all has to do with just stress management. You know, we can't be on the court five days a week. We can't lift weights five days a week. We can't do anything of one thing too much. We need a, we need a, a California answer, bro. Whataburger isn't that good. Bro, what's better? Whataburger or In-N-Out? I'll be comparing the two, bro. Don't compare them. I don't comp bro, I try not to, but these it's clowns. Like, it's like Whataburger and Jack in the Box. So what I've heard about Whataburger is they got more of a variety of food. Yeah, they say breakfast and all the time. That's why. Nobody but the burgers, the, bro, the burgers, the burgers are not trash. I had a, I had There's one. No it was way. trash. There's no way. Whataburger and Jack in the Box are comparing. Yeah. In and Out or Whataburger? Uh, I mean, I ain't a California kid, bro. I grew up down south a little bit too. Oh, here he goes. Uh oh, here we go. Ain't on. nothing like Whataburger. Okay, okay. He said Whataburger. In and Out. There it is. He said when you see that orange and white, he's so. Uh, in and out kid. I said, I ain't really a California kid. You ain't got to be. I, I grew up in the South, too. Yeah, I don't even recognize you. I ain't even out, man. Get in out. But I told. My wife got it. It's ready water with your nipples outside of the water. Because you have to tread hard to get high. And the whole point of this exercise is get them to move as fast as they can in the deep end. You can't go higher. I'm trying. Murph, Murph, Relax. We're gonna try and hold our breath for as long as possible. It's a breath holding contest. Uh, you going under? No, under. What NBA superstar is from the same state as Michael Phelps? Is it A, Kevin Durant, B, Kyrie Irving, C, James Harden, or D, LeBron James? Uh, AD's from Chicago, James from LA. Hey, where's uh, Michael Phelps from? Oh, Kyrie. Nope. Ah. I'm going with LeBron. Nope. Kyrie. It's not James. If it was James, I guess it would be the same place yeah. I was. <laughs> I already do that. Okay. Which, uh, uh, I, should, I hope you don't. That'd be embarrassing. Is he from DC? I don't know where he's from, bro. I don't think he's from Jersey. I'm going to have to go with DC. So who are you choosing? I'm going with, with KD. That's the correct answer. Is it? Yeah. Man. I don't know. KD. KD. Yeah, I remember because right. the weed video. Yep. I hope so. <laughs> how, is, how tiring is this? This is really hard. Hey, Ray, give me one good one it's, at least. It, first off, this is far. <laughs> this is going to dig pool. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this ain't as well. <laughs> Michael Phelps, plus you got me tripping, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Goal is to work without oxygen. Yeah. That's the goal. I'm making them work without oxygen. Okay. So now the the cells of the body are using the oxygen up quick 
and CO2 goes through the roof. And being, being able to tolerate CO2 is really good for endurance. Um, rest. Now we're grabbing our equipment. Real quick, let me explain it verbally. When you have the fat bells, the lighter ones is one foot alternating feet. Aaron don't know what I'm talking about, but we're, you're going to go with Drew and he'll show you. The, the heavy ones, two feet. Okay? Hey, mix up the water. Because Joe, 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 Joe Kim always loves Joe Kim Noah, he loves doing his workouts. Yes, and he helps. always tries to get players to do it. And I see that you do the same workouts. The they do what? They do these workouts. Oh, uh, honestly, it's fun. If you can swim. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, there's no pounding. Yeah. There's so much pounding that you can be doing. I know at an older age, especially somebody like Joe Kim, like, he's been doing this for a long time, so. Any chance that you get to be able to get good work in without putting load on the body, like why not do it? Mm. Yeah, you work on not just the, like the pounding part, but even like your oxygen, the way you breathe. Rip this motherfucker! I ain't no Navy Seal or nothing, but it must be some of the stuff they be doing. There you go. Yeah. Violent slam. Touch the ground, the pool floor. Big reach. Violent slam. So there's effort down and effort up. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's tough. It's tough? Yeah, because oh, oh, it's so much uh, water. Is, that is, is water resistance with yeah. the Viber? How much it's is the Viber? 12 pounds? Two for two. All right, bonus round, bonus round, bonus round question. This is for all the marbles I'm right here. Here in these yeah, okay. What's okay. So, all right, so last question. JT is going to look at this question years from now. So this is going to be a big time question for you. Okay, which cartoon movie is the character Bruce in? Bruce? Yeah. Where is this from? A, Shark Tale. B, Finding Nemo. C, Little Mermaid, or D, Spongebob? Not Spongebob or Little Mermaid. You said Bruce? Yeah, the character Bruce. It said Shark Tale mm -hmm. and Finding Nemo. I don't know Shark Tale that well, but Finding Nemo, for some reason, Bruce don't sound familiar. If it was Bruce, it'd be the little turtle. Do I get like a lifeline? <laughs> no, no, heck no. <laughs> if you ask Lon, she gonna get it. She not gonna get it. Why, she already asked her? No, no. you can't ask her. She don't know. She don't know cartoons. Man, I hate being wrong, bro. Shark tails, bro. Nope, it's Finding Nemo. <laughs> the shark and the Finding Nemo is His Bruce. His name's Bruce? <laughs> the big? Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You gave it away, mermaid. Yeah. Nope. It's you not mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's not mermaid. There you go. Finding Nemo. Yep. Yeah. You got Bruce it. Isn't finding Nemo. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Okay. I, I went two for three. Okay. He asked me some Michael Phelps, man. I, I know Michael Phelps is a swimmer, so I. So what do they have to do, Mike? Basically, they're gonna do a relay race with the fat bell as the baton. They're gonna go down and back, hand off. But how they go down and back is their decision, their strategy. See what they got. 
Let like athletes be athletes. Right, what's the team? Let's everybody together. Probably. Relay. Everybody, everybody, everybody together. Oh, y'all yeah, just having a time. Yeah, I'm going last. I go first. Yeah, I'm going last. And I'll go after you. <laughs> and then y'all two no, no, you might go fast. I need to say both. He'll go oh, fast. for sure. I'll take that. Y'all two will go fast. Aaron, Aaron, the in betweener. Right, but, we just, but here's my thing, though. Aaron, the in betweener. The transition from going. Because we got to go down and then back in the deep end instead of the shadow end. Just, just for your information. Yeah, it would have been smarter to start there. In my opinion. But since we down here, start, do think about that while we. Man, we can go back. Nah. Uh -huh. Nah, bro. We can't keep on going. We got to make it with mine now. All right. Who thought it's coming out here? Who's the same boat of the group? Who the what? Who, a same boat of the group? Oh, that'd be me. That'd be me. The dark Michael Phelps in the pool. Oh, yeah, Michael Phelps. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yep. But I'm Usain Bolt. All right. Has a, have to walk across. Come on, Murphy. Wait, 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 wait. Can I walk across? Yeah, don't cheat. I'm on the wall. I'm not cheating. That's smart. That's cheating. Thank you. Is that a strong first leg right there? Yeah, good shit, bro. Okay. Yeah, we're going to